you have been uh, working on seats for a long time. Uh, did, is this something you always wanted to do as a kid? Did you decide, uh, someday I want to design comfortable <laughs> seats? How did, how did this come about? I don't know that anyone grows up wanting to be a seat comfort attribute engineer like I am, but I did. All, I was always somewhat of a car guy, and I went to. I'm an engineer by trade, so I went. To, I got involved in some programs, and then we did some projects, and then that ended up turning into some um, academic programs. I ended up writing a dissertation on seat comfort, and then spent my entire adult life in seat comfort, 20 plus years. Who would have thought? Huh? Who would have thought? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, you got. We, we have uh, just a couple minutes left. What else can we tell people? Should we go back in the other room here? Okay. And uh, the, uh, by the way, what are these? These, oh, this okay. is interesting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Mike. This is? That is the Fiesta in Europe today. And the one to its left is the, fie the planned Fiesta for here in North America. So this is. Um, Which one? This is the? This is the European seat. OK. This is the. Uh, Currently, uh, on, on the market it's in, it's in, in Europe, Europe, the the, the, the well Ford Fiesta. Being sold in South America, as well as Asia Pacific companies, so uh, countries. And this is that's the upcoming North American. North American. Um, so what I'll highlight, though, and Larry already hit on this slightly, is is as we go forward, we're not going to have different executions by region. That isn't the intent for world cars. So this research and all these metrics, what we're, what we're driving to is to find the sweet spot that'll com comfortably accommodate uh, customers no matter where in the world they might be. So the next Focus, for example, there won't be two versions of the seat, there will be one. The next um, CD sized car, which is like the Mondeo or the Fusion here in North America, there will be one. That's the intent. I was joking before about uh, your first car, Has the, but I, I, was there a moment in time when we leaped forward in comfort? Was there a time when people started taking car seats more seriously than uh, they people did early on? I don't know about people in general, but what I can comment on is uh, we've made a conscious decision here at Ford to bring seat engineering back in-house. That was in the 2005 time frame. Mm -hmm. And with that, we brought um, the attribute responsibility, so the seat comfort responsibility in-house as well. And that's when, when You'll, you'll notice if you look at the, uh, some of the customer data, the JD Power data, the, uh, we've got an internal survey, GQRS. Um, we, we notice a, a measurable improvement in that time. So the focus that we sat in was the first application of that, and there's a, a marked a significant improvement in um, JD Power performance on that particular vehicle. And I think it's largely due to the fact that we brought that responsibility internal. Okay, anything else you want to add, Larry, before to, to make people feel more comfortable about uh, Ford Comfort? No, buy one, try it out. <laughs> it's a great seat. That's the bottom line, huh? Yep. All right. Okay. Well, that is our report from the Product Development Center in Dearborn, Michigan on March 17th, 2009. Thank you for joining us, everybody. There's uh, your Ford seats.